is the first full day of travel since the federal mask mandate was struck down. That means you are no longer required to wear a mask on planes, trains, buses, or in ride chairs like Uber and Lyft. Our Rachel Wilkerson checked in with local transportation organizations and health officials to find out how the change is impacting Hoosiers. <laughs> Cheers of excitement on board this flight as flight attendants announce the mask mandate for public transportation has been lifted. We dodged a bullet. <laughs> Ashley Lowry with similar size of relief this morning. She says flying from Indianapolis with her three children is going to be much easier now without masks. Her daughter Dylan describes previous experiences. Not really good. Airport passengers could be seen with and without masks. It was the same story for Indigo bus riders. We feel happy like you're free and you got to keep wearing masks. I just like to have it sometimes, just for comfort, peace of mind. Last week, the White House extended the public transportation federal mandate until early May to study the Omicron subvariant. A federal judge in Florida threw out the order claiming it's unlawful and exceeds the CDC's authority. This decision comes as local COVID hospitalizations have dropped. We're seeing patients that are, are sicker, so hospitals are still very busy even though COVID numbers are lower. The Marion County Public Health Department says vaccination rates have also dropped nearly 95 percent since January. As a vaccinated nurse, I feel very comfortable not wearing a mask in the open area in the airport, but as soon as we get on the plane and conditions are closer, I will definitely wear a mask the whole time then. Transit riders say while they're happy, this is one step closer to normalcy, Many are erring on the side of caution. I think it's too early to tell because anything could change. I'm going to keep it just in case because you never know. I mean, if, if, if the mayor tested positive a week ago, that lets you know it could still happen. Come on. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Although the mask mandate has been dropped, the CDC still recommends wearing a mask in indoor public transportation settings, especially if you are immunocompromised, have an underlying health condition, are older or pregnant. That is in part due to a rise in the BA2 subvariant of Omicron. According to the agency, new COVID-19 cases in the U.S. have reached their highest point in more than a month. And in the last week, 34 states and territories have seen increases of about 10% or more. Here in Marion County, the threat of COVID-19 transmission is low. Right now, there are 32 COVID cases. Across the state, hospitalizations also remain low. There are less than 200 COVID-19 patients in hospitals.